Hey YouTubers, I am charged up today. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We're gonna talk about an electrifying topic today. Battery and electric on your RV. Let's go. All right, everybody, so what's battery, what's electric? You're gonna hear all kinds of terms thrown out there, but let's just keep it simple for starters. Battery, 12 volt. Got it? Electric, 110, 120, volts. <laughs> Electric, 110, 120 volt. All right, so where do you find battery and electric? We're talking genera general terms, general locations, general everything today. Battery is typically up front on your towables. On your motorized, usually underneath the steps going inward and or up front in, I guess you would say the hood area. Electric on pretty much 99.9% .9 of our RVs are going to be on the off door side or some people say roadside. You'll always find a hookup or an area where you can pull the cable out. Got it? Good. What does what? All right. So the first off, the battery is your weak link. If it is not charged up, it's not connected, whatever, that kills a lot of items inside. That again is your weak link. So make sure before you get up and going, you got your battery charged up. Electric, when you're at a campground or at the house, anywhere you have power to plug into, then the 110 or electric overrides in a sense the battery through via the converter i've already said probably too much your head spinning oh my gosh what does all that mean dry camping you're going to have to rely on your 12 volt when you're at a campground you're relying on your 110 got it good all right so you're asking yourself you're scratching your head at the campground what runs what I'm not, I'm dry camping and I don't have something running. Ah, I'm jolted, I'm electrifying. What is what? All right, so let's break down the components and what each one is run off of. AC, electric. So in other words, if you're at a campground plugged in, you're gonna have the AC. You're dry camping, find a friend with a generator or bring a generator or just deal with some heat. Entertainment stuff. TV, radio, any of that stuff. Most of them nowadays are starting to come uh, 12 volt, but some of the bigger refri um, refrigerators, <laughs> some of the bigger TVs are gonna be plugged in and electric. So again, that's gonna be that middle ground. If you're dry camping or at a campground, you're just gonna have to ask some questions before you go out. So that way, if, especially if you want some TV and it's electric only. Furnace, right? The furnace is propane, throw a wrench in the spokes there. However, most of the furnaces utilize 12 volt for the thermostat and the fan. So again, dry camping, you're gonna have some heat in the winter, but don't expect it to run all day long. Got it so far? Good. All right, so appliances, right? Like kitchen appliances. Pretty much you can say across the board, they're all electric, right? You got the microwave, electric so again dry camping no popcorn guys sorry kiddos stoves most of them are propane so you're good however some of the um, motor homes and some of the the higher end rvs are coming with it like a conduction oven or conduction stove top excuse me that's going to be electric only refrigerators have changed a lot in the last few years you're going to have 12 volt 110 or in this case, RV refrigerators. My gosh, I am like, I don't know, right? What, what do I have? Well, basically on a lot of your control panels, they're gonna tell you. If you see like a flame or a reference to a propane, that is gonna be an RV, RV refrigerator, which you'll be able to operate dry camping or at the campground. But if it's 12 volt or 110 volt electric, um, you better plug in, <laughs> simple as that. But most of these refrigerators are 12 volt in the smaller RVs. So again, that's gonna utilize the battery. 
if you're not plugged in over the course of a few days, you're going to find your battery's dead and your beer is not cold. So again, if you're dry camping, dry camping, dry camping, boondocking, whatever you want to call it, if you are going out in the middle of a field and do not have electric, please, please, please ask your salesperson or your rental um, agent, if you will, what is the refrigerator in my RV before you just hit the road? Got it? Good. Mikey B, I need water. How do I get water? All right, everybody, water is a friend. Need to wash your hair, gotta look good when camping. Water pump gives you water. The water pump is 12 volt. 12 volt is battery. So again, if you are boondocking, dry camping, whatever you wanna call it, if your battery's not charged up, the pump's not gonna work, I ain't got no water. If you're at the campground plugged in, fear not. As much as you have uh, incoming water, you will have a water source that works. Got it? Good. All right, last but not least, it's at the end of the season. We're all cringe. We gotta put our camper away. I wish it could be warm, we can keep going camping. Anywho, electric 110. Hi, again, however you want to say it. Really nothing you got to do for storage other than just put the cord away, right? The battery, remember I told you way back in the beginning of this video, the battery is your weak link. If you have a wet battery, and 99% of campers out there is what we call a wet battery, it has water. What happens in, to water in the winter? <laughs> Refrigerator. So you're probably going to want to unhook your battery and put it somewhere where it's going to be safe from freezing. Other than that, the best thing to do with the battery over the storage uh, winter season is maybe do a little trickle charge here and there. In other words, come next season, don't put, hook up your battery and just hit the road and expect everything to be great. You gotta take care of your battery over the winter season. All right, you got it? Good. All right, RVers, I hope this has been electrifying. Remember, 12 volt, 110, battery electric. Hopefully this has got everything dialed in a little bit more. But keep your eye out for future videos. We're gonna take each component and dive into a little bit more on the hows, the to-dos, the whats, and the whatnots. Don't forget to like the video, give us some love, comment below with the questions and comments that you guys have found that works for you, or again, questions that you need answered about your electric and battery RV stuff. <laughs> if that came out right, whatever, you got the gist. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. I'll see you next time.